Welcome back to PSC's Tech Byte. Today, we keep on talking about how to create real-life solutions with adaptive card extensions implemented with SharePoint Framework. And specifically, I want to explain you how you can leverage the card navigator and the quick view navigator properties that we have in any adaptive card extension in order to manage the navigation flow across multiple card views and quick views. In fact, those properties provide us methods to register new card views and quick views, or to push or pop a card, or to replace a card that we are showing so that we can create a real navigation flow in our adaptive card extensions. So, like always, let me show you in practice how to do that. So, here you can see in the workbench an adaptive card extension which implements a really simple navigation flow. It is like a wizard, so you can start it, it will show up uh, a quick view, it will be the quick view number one. I can click on this button and go to the number two, or I can go back or fourth. I can go to the three one, of course I can go eventually back to the second one, and I can click on finish and see another different card view for the end of my navigation wizard. How did I implement this uh, adaptive card extension? Well, the adaptive card extension itself uh, as the registration of all the uh, card and quick view IDs uh, in the main code. And here in the on init, we register with the card navigator the two card views that we have, and with the key quick view navigator the three quick views that we have uh, in our uh, solution. Notice that for every single ID, we define the mapping instance of the card view or quick view object that we have in our solution. So, if we look at the card view one, which is the very first one we see, in the card buttons, we have a action of type quick view, which will show the quick view one registry ID, meaning that it will show this quick view. In this quick view, the UI is really simple and just based on the adaptive card JSON syntax. And we have an action, which is an action submit, which will say go to quick view number two. It will have an ID and the from card equal one will be the data that we will provide to the action. So that when we will click on the button, the on action event will be triggered. And if the action ID is go to two, which is the one we configure, we can set the from card in the state of our adaptive card extension just to manage the back and forth process of the flow. And then we push the new quick view, which will be the number two through the quick view navigator. Then we are in the quick view two. And here again, we play with the same logic. So we will have a JSON template, here it is. We will have a couple of actions now, a one to go back to one and another one to go uh, to number three, to quick view number three. And the from card will be the two one because we are moving from card two. And again, in the on action, we say, okay, if the action ID is go to one, we will replace the front card with our actual value in the data property, and we will say to the quick navigator, quick view navigator, to push uh, the quick view number one. If it will be go to three, we'll do the same with the from card, and we will set, we will push the next card to be the quick view uh, number three. In the three one, again, and one more time, we can manage in the on action if we need to go to number two or to finish. If we go to number two, we will push the ID of the card number two. And of course, uh, in the JSON, we will have two additional actions. And if it will be the finish one, which will be clicked, then we set the from card, like always, to the from card that we have in the data of the action. And through the card navigator, we push the uh, second card view to say that we have finished and we close the quick view navigator so that we will close the quick view number three. So as you can see, playing with card navigator and quick view navigator, we can push, we can close, we can replace, we can generally speaking manage the navigation flow of our users inside an adaptive card extension. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. And remember, subscribe to this channel. Thank you.